Well, the bad news is that Johnson Nash didn't want to trade. Said that, you know, he didn't have access to his shop while the Powder Gangers were still running the casino. So if we want to actually sell off any of the crap we took off them, we need to make sure that the casino is cleared. The good news is he was willing to play Caravan, and we won a good 200 caps off that guy. So hey, you know, silver linings, right? Anyway, Eddie, we have a casino to clear. Good evening. You know, that's actually a good point, Eddie. I mean, it is currently 10 p.m. So what I'd really like to do is find a place to lie down for the night. But it's like in, in the absence of anything else, I bet the casino probably has plenty of bets. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through bottom to top, clear it out of powder gangers, and then have a night's sleep in there. That sounds like a good plan, right? Yeah, it's plenty of dark. I don't want to do any travel in here. Just uh, get in there, kill powder gangers, have a bite to eat apparently, and then head to bed. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So, Eddie, I want you to wait here and be aggressive. And if I come out screaming about, oh my goodness, the powder gangers are coming to kill me. Shoot at the first thing that moves. Actually, shoot at the second thing that moves after me. Yeah, there we go. That's a good plan. Okay. We have a friend over there. And if we're really good at this, we can just quickly pop his head right off. <laughs> there we go. But it looks like he had a friend as well. Can you really not see me? I'm here under the glow of two halogen bulbs. What was that? Nothing. Ignore the lasers. There's nothing here. Okay, we'll quickly take you and again, you have a gun! Why do you why are you using the knife? What is wrong with these guys? Somebody in the shadows there. Come on. Okay. Did anyone else hear that? No, I think we're pro oh nope, they did, they did, they did, they very much did. Well, we might as well announce our presence. Say, hey, here we are. Here, have a flashlight. Where are you? I'm... I'm not hallucinating things, am I? Ooh, that is a big gun right there. It's like, I, I could swear I just saw three people right over there. And they're gone now. Okay, what the crap? Well, you know... That guy right there, who is having a light shine in his face and doesn't know it, apparently. Okay, that's one guy down. Did I see his friend over there for a second? Anybody there? No. Oh, they see me, they see me, they very much see me. And ow, that was a big gun. What was that? You like that? No, I don't. Go away. Oh, that's a, that's a flamethrower. Why are you using flamethrower? We're indoors. Are you a maniac? What are you doing? Stop that. Well, if you're going to do that, I can do that too. See, I have a flamethrower too. Simpack, Simpack. Ow. Ow. Fire. 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 Fire's bad. So it turns out, using fire in enclosed spaces is a bad idea. Yeah, let's not do that. What? What? I can't really be this bad, can I? Okay, there's a lot of them over there. Had enough? Have some dynamite. Have some fun. Get this one guy down. 
And it's more dynamite. Ow, 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 ow. That's a big gun. Stop that. Enough. Okay, what? Let me grab my pick boy, dang it. And we'll quickly heal everything up. There we go, that's better. You like that? No. Where's your friend? In the face. You like that? Oh no, there's more of them. Go away! Well, I will say, this little laser mini gun, l laser, laser Tommy gun, has been a lifesaver. Of course, I'm still crippled, and horribly so, but at least I have, you know, something on me. We'll take all of the useful stuff and sell it. And then we'll have to walk back slowly to Doc Mitchell, because I only have two doctor's bags. Yeah. Do I have any medics? Because right now I could use some. No, of course I don't. Why would I have medics? It's only, you know, a chest in both arms. I don't need those. Ooh, what's that? A bobblehead, you say? Well, let's take a look at that. That is the bobblehead for endurance. Hey, I like that. And some money, always worthwhile. And some caps. Fantastic. What, what, what am I doing? We still have powder gangers to kill, and I'm looting. This is not a good idea. Okay, do we want to go in here guns blazing? Or do we want to try and go around? I mean, during my premonition, we went in there guns blazing and absolutely got toasted. In both senses of the word. We have one guy there, one guy there, one guy there. Oh, there, one guy there. Okay, now would be a good time for those powder charges because you know there's no way for them to get past here. Yeah. Have fun with that. And then we go in, wait for them to walk into that. You like that? Yes, yes I do. Not as much as I like, you know, um, my, my both arms are broken. Okay, there we go. Bull time, bull time, save me. Okay, that's one guy down. Ow. What, what? Game, why? Okay. I think that this was the entire bottom floor. Which is good, because I might need to walk back to Good Springs like this and say, Doc, fix me up. That is, unless people here have any kind of doctor whatsoever. I wouldn't put it past them to be, you know, entirely alone and have nothing. But, you know, we're making off like bandits with all this, with all this, you know, powder ganger money. Of course, we're also losing most of our ammo for the Tommy gun, which is unfortunate. And Johnson Nash won't let us sell all this crap off until we kill all the powder gangers. Well, hello there. I see a head back there. How are you doing today, sir? I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Well, in a manner of speaking, yes. I did come here to kill Powder Gangers, and I did come here to find you. Yeah, you must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Yeah, you know, you're, you're valuable. You're a valuable man, you know that? I hear you have some information about some cons that came through here with a guy in a daisy-checked suit. Indeed I do, good sir, and I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. 
Well, I'll let you go if you tell me. I'm sure you mean well, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory is going to function. Drat. Uh, you sure you can't tell, about them, tell me about them now? I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds, I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. All right, fine. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Hang on, you, 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 yeah, I didn't, I didn't set you, I didn't set you loose so you could run away. Come on, stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. You useless prat! You didn't even give me the information I came here for! Ugh. Well, at least he left me all the, all the, all the, all the alcohol. So I can sell that off. But come on, man. It's like, I'm saving your life. The least you could do is, you know, give me what I need. All right. Do we want to try to find the rest of the Powder Gangers? Yeah, we probably should. We'll pop this door open. Okay, that's good. We have the doors out there. Anything interesting up here? This would be a door to the stairs. Yes, fantastic. So we'll quickly hop up here, kill all the powder gangers, go back, get our information, and blow this sad little town like the like the dump it is. I mean, there's not really much here. You have the two casinos and nothing. Like is is are there any farms? No. Is there is there any merchants? One. Is there a doctor's bag? Yes. Yes, there is, which I'll be using right now to at least be able to aim functionally. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to pray that I just don't get shot by anyone. Which realistically speaking means I should turn this I'll light up. No, 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 you don't. In the face with a Tommy gun. Which keeps resetting itself to be only a single shot Tommy gun, which is less than use which is less useful. Ow! Darn it! Also, ow, what the crap was he carrying? You know. Had enough. It occurs to me this might be a bad place to be in. Yeah, that guy had a big gun. I don't know what he had, but I don't want to get shot by it. Who's there? Nobody. And incidentally, if you could please turn the corner, that'd be wonderful. Who's there? Nobody. Go away. Found you. Wait. You Ow. No, no, I don't. Go away. Okay, what is that you're carrying? What is that? Okay. Bullet time proving very useful. What is that? That was his Come big on. gun, what was that? I don't like that. <laughs> okay, turn this corner where I can't miss, all right? Just come into point blank range. Thank you, sir. Anyone else care to poke your noses out? No? I think we're good. Fantastic. Which means that in theory... Ooh, a cabinet key. What, what cabinet is that, I wonder? Which means that in theory... That's what you had! A bloody hunting revolver! You know... I was complaining about these guys not using their melee weapons. I think I prefer they go back, please. A hunting revolver. Ah! Ow. Okay. Now I think now that everything is broken, we can use the doctor's bag again. And then after we're quite sure that everyone here is dead, we're gonna find a bed and sleep this off. 
Because my everything is hurting right now. Looks like there's a third story at least. Though we'll need to go up through the collapsed roo coll collapse roofs though. Collapsed floors, that's the word. I'm not hearing any noises. Which I think means ransom note. Which I, which I was about to say, which, which, which I think means that we're safe to loot. What's that say? Ransom note. Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife live again, bring the cash and small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Was that a pre-war note, I wonder? I don't know. Hmm. Either way, it's time to get to looting and then get to, to get to sleeping. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Huh. Well, it looks like you had a fun time before you headed out. Oh, I'm so sorry. There we are. That's one casino well and truly looted, with one exception. There's a safe in here that I couldn't get into. But other than that, that's all the powder gangers dead. That's all the places taken care of. So we can go and talk to good old Deputy Beagle. Well, that is just brilliant. You're like, sure, I cleared the casino of powder gangers and all of its loot. I cleared the town of powder gangers and most of its loot. And Deputy Beagle wanders off, doesn't even say thank you, doesn't even hang around to say, oh, by the way, here's your information. Deputy Beagle, you worthless, get out here. Dep, you're not Deputy Beagle. Well, I'll be damned. I heard through the grapevine you were still a-kicking. Hoped you might show up here. Do I know you? I don't think I do. Why do you want, what do you want to do with me? Well, word is, is you damn near come back from the dead. Damn miracle, if you ask me. Yeah. Just how far has that rumor traveled? I mean, on the one hand, I think that can only be good for my reputation. I mean, having a reputation as the guy who came back from the dead after getting shot in the head, yeah, that's a pretty good pretty good name for myself. At the same time, uh, yeah, I still get he headaches from that, I guess? I'll bet you do. Way I figure it, you either got a golden horseshoe stuck up your ass, or an angel on your shoulder uh, looking out for you. Either way, that kind of talent might come in handy <laughs> on a project I'm working on. You interested? You know, uh, you know what? Sure. It's like, I think I might notice a horseshoe. So I'm betting it's the angel. Yeah. What's the job? Sorry about that. Reckon I got ahead of myself. Name of Steve, as in Bison Steve. Yep. That old place has been in the family for years, and I aim to rebuild her. But I need your help. Them goddamn convicts took over the town and got us locked up in here tighter than a virgin at Gamora. Yeah, I actually <laughs> introduced myself to them as I came in. Hell yeah. Now that's what we need around here, somebody to take the damn Brahmin by the horns. That fucking beagle's a pussy. Yeah, I noticed. Anyhow, I need that hotel cleared out and Granny's blueprints brought back to me. They's locked up in her safe up on the second floor. After that... You'll have to make sure things is peaceful enough around here for the town folk to get back to work. But the first thing I need is in blueprints. What do you say? Yeah, you've told me a lot about what I have to do, but you haven't really mentioned what I'm getting paid. A whole lot of fucking caps, that's what. There ain't no casinos or a decent room around here for miles. If we can get some law in this town and get the old place fixed back up, we'd be set up to make a shitload of cash. You know what that makes us? That makes us partners. You ever wanted to stake in a casino? Here's your chance, partner. Well, I'll be honest, that does sound like a pretty good deal. But, uh, 
Sounds like I'm gonna be the one doing a lot, doing most of the work. So, just what's my stake in this? You know what? I'll I'll figure it out as we go. I'm in. Well, hell far. I was right about you after all. Listen, it ain't much, but here's a little stuff I stashed away for a rainy day just in case. Come back and see me when you got them prints and we'll go over the rest of the plan. Damn, I almost forgot. You'll need this key. Good luck and be careful. Okay, that'll be the key for the safe I couldn't open. Yeah, there are two safes in the casino which just couldn't pop. One on the second floor, one on the bottom. So, Johnson Nash. You got that old robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? Oh! Was that your robot? Uh, yeah, did you did you want it back? I mean, it's been useful, but not so much as you might think. That beat up old pile of bolts? What do you want to know? Well, d do you want do you want it back? What well, if you don't want it, what should I do with it? Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. Okay, where'd it come from? A courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hoped to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Okay. Well, thanks, I guess. Don't go getting yourself shot. <laughs> yeah, I have a habit of that. Where'd that bloody beagle go? He, he, he's got to be in here somewhere, right? No, that's Steve. Where's he hiding? He knows I'm coming for him. He knows I'm upset, and he's, he's staying out of my way. Well, you know, that that's probably, probably generally a good idea. But I need to find him so I can get his information, dang it. There you are, you useless sack of skin. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Oh, sure. You broke yourself out. We ha had a hostage situation. Yeah, not to diminish your role in it. I'm going to shoot you with your own gun. Yeah, what what, what are you talking about? You're like, oh no, you're the deputy and they shot, th they shot the sheriff. Gu guess what that makes you? You're the sheriff now. Oh no, I'm just the deputy and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Yeah. And the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't really have time to help Prim. I need to get going. There are some people who shot me in the head. At the same time, Steve over there says that if I can bring law and order to Prim, then hey, I can get a casino running. I suppose I can bring law and order to Prim. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Oh yes, because I want a powder ganger as, as head of the town. Now don't you walk away. Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next sheriff? Not yet, I have left the room because you still haven't told me about the man in the checkered suit. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. All right. I suppose that's a start. Where'd Johnson Nash go? Hey, Ruby Nash. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Oh, you know, getting shot in the head, the same thing. Who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. 
My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. Well, as it happens, I'm in the market for some food. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. You know what? I think I'll pass on that. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yeah, see, I'd rather not eat any food that'll kill me if I bite my tongue. Where'd Johnson Nash go? Come here, you. I happen to know that you're a traitor now. And hey, I've cleared your town, so now you can trade. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Yes, yes, I am. I want to I want to sell you some things. Well, yes. Problem is, I ain't going into my shop until I know it's good and safe. It's good and safe. I killed the powder gangers. You're 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 free to leave. Are you gonna wait? Are you gonna make me make me get a sheriff for you as well? Like what? What do you look for in a sheriff? Now your guess is as good as mine. You might luck upon someone who's a natural born sheriff. I heard of one fellow what got himself locked in that NCR jailhouse up I-15, and maybe that ain't the best credential, but a sheriff's a sheriff. I imagine the NCR would be able to bring some law to the town, too. But from what I've seen, they barely got the firepower to protect themselves. Okay, why do you guys people keep saying, you know, get the guy from the Powder Gangers? Like, why would you want a Powder Ganger sheriff? Goodbye. <sighs> I swear, Eddie, don't become human. You'll never understand them. I'm human, I don't understand them. It's like, oh sure, here's a guy who's a convict, runs around with the guys who are cannibals, lest I need lest I need to remind you. Yeah, cannibals who, you know, ate a family in Good Springs. Yeah, let, let, let's get one of them for a sheriff. Although, you know, I do need to head to the prison anyway, if only if only to wipe them off the map. So let's go talk first to Lieutenant Hayes and say what would you need to get this town under control. And also, just so you know, I'm going to be helping myself to your mines because, well, it's like I've already taken care of the powder gangers and if we leave them here, someone's going to get, someone's going to get blown up. Probably me. All right, Lieutenant. Yeah. Uh, Prim needs a sheriff. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. Well, I, I've killed the powder gangers. They're gone. What do you need to take over the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. Look at the casino. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Okay. Sir? So talk to Knight at the Mojave Outpost. We won't go quiet. And I also want to head count. north. To go check out the what's it called? Yeah, the correctional facility. Because if if nothing else, I want to make sure that everyone there is dead. And hey, there might be a sheriff there who isn't a cannibal. And if so, you know, we might give him a shot. We might just put some plasma in his face. You know, either way would work for me. But let's head north anyway, because we need to go talk to Dr. Dr. Mitchell and say, hey, could you, do, you ha do you have any more doctor's bags I can buy? Because I'm running kind of low on those. I will say this about Eddie. I do like his perk, and hand sensors is nice. At the same, at the same time, I think there's some kind of bug 
with the perk. Which is that it goes far too far. It's like, I don't need to know that an enemy is three miles that way is it, hostile to me. It's like, what, what I'd really like is the perk to say, hey, this, this red one is very close to you. But, you know, we can't always get what we want. So we'll just quickly hunt down some geckos for some breakfast. And then we'll... Up, oh, is that a... Ow, 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 why are you here? I think that what's its face? The 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 the, the lone wolf radio. Yeah, it's got raiders in it again. Which is unfortunate. It's also unfortunate, I think, that that gecko, yes, just crippled my arm again. So is it really worth it for me to take care of another raider? I'm not so sure. It's like, it's not like we're lacking any ammo. So we'll quickly try to plink away at them. You play a little song. That's new. Why would why would you announce our presence like that? Is da 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 da? I'm like, oh, where where's the enemy? Oh, there it is. It's the giant robot. Although, to be fair, it's really not like you're stealthy at all. Ooh! Oh, hello! Hello, sexy! That right there is a hunting rifle! And that right there is me being over-encumbered! But yes, if we need to snipe anything off now, I mean, we're set! Granted, it does not much more than the homemade plasma rifle, but still. And now we just need to very slowly walk back to town. <laughs> All right, that's us fully meted up. We've sold most of the crap we had. We got rid of all the ammo we're not using. That means I think we're ready to head over to the NCRCF, you know, NCR Correctional Facility. And the Powder Gangers are none too happy about us because we did kind of kill Joe Cobb and we've been sniping them up and down the road. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun, I think, because we're gonna we're gonna march into a place where everyone hates us. Although, in theory, what we do have is Joe Cobb's armor. Oops, I forgot to reinforce the leather armor. In theory, we could just put that on. And now we're dressed as a powder ganger. Although, also in theory, we don't really have a mask to say, Hey, yeah, we're totally a powder ganger. Like, this is just... If they hate Gabrielle in leather armor, they'll probably hate Gabrielle in Joe Cobb's armor even more. So... The best way to approach this is probably just to go in there, sneakily. See, yep, there, there, there it is right over there. Go in there sneakily, try not to get noticed, try to avoid getting shot. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. And then we'll go interrogate the quote-unquote sheriff in there, and we'll decide whether or not to shoot him. Like, I'm very much reserving the right to kill him based on the behavior of the guys in there. Like, I do not have a very positive opinion of powder gangers right now. And we have some blowflies over there, so let's give them a wide margin. Not because they're a threat, but because they're not worth killing. It's not worth spending the ammo on them. And be mindful that these guys probably have mines. They love explosives. So we'll be very careful to keep an eye out for those. 
Okay. Let's start sneaking now. Get out the varmint rifle. I'm not going to use the hunting rifle because the hunting rifle is in silenced, and this is. Which means that ooh, Xander root. Which means that if there's a weapon that they got that they won't notice. Oh, excuse me. There's some bodies over there. Did you do that? I bet you did. So we're quickly going to take these guys out because that's also danger to the road. Up, uh, Eddie. Eddie! There is such a thing as subtlety, you know? It's like, don't fire l the lasers right next to the criminal encampment. They'll notice that. Thank you. All right. So the biggest threat that I can see is the mines right there. But after that, it'll be the guys on the tower. Like, if I, if I were here trying to fortify my, my newly claimed camp, I'd put snipers up on the roofs just to keep an eye out for anybody poking their, their necks around the corner. Or their nose in. You know, one of those things. So we'll see if we can't quickly snipe them off from where we are. Yeah, Eddie has indicated to me that they are none too fond of me. Which, really, I don't think is very fair. I mean... Who did Joe Cobb tell? I mean, he walked out of the he walked out of the, the the pub, and then stood around the house, and from there, any powder ganger who's met me has died, without having a chance to report back. So these guys really shouldn't know I'm here, but whatever. Okay, I, I guess they've known now, and maybe the armor rifle wasn't the best choice, because anyone up there is going to be wearing armor as well. Could you, could you hold still, please? Did I sell the hunting rifle? Yes, yes, I totally did. Bother. Ah! He's coming out to meet me. Wonderful. Good. Eddie? I think I'm just bad at, 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 at this rifle. Okay, the entire town knows I'm here now. And do the people on the on the tower know? Well, they do now. <laughs> I just realized I just declared war on an entire convict encampment. This was probably a bad idea. He says, continuing in anyway. <laughs> yeah, this was a bad idea. But you know what would be even worse? Is leaving all these guys alive. Oh, look at you! You're coming at me with a melee weapon! That was a poor decision, sir! Yeah. Let's just sit here and, you know, plug them as they come. Like that one! Who has a gun! Well done, sir! Oh, and you have a gun, too. You know what? Let's go inside. Because that... You know, it's going to be easier to catch, catch them as they come in the door. They're going to fall in, fall in here anyway, and that is a lot more people than I was expecting. Hello, gentlemen. I have good news. If you're the sheriff, you get to live. If you're not the sheriff... <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Yep, bad news for you. In fact, if you're attacking me, I also have bad news. Like that, like that, like that, like that. That is bad news for you. <laughs> oh, somebody has a machete. And you chose poorly, sir. In fact, anyone with a gun is choosing poorly. Come on. 
Except me. I'm allowed to have a gun. You're not. Hey. Well, that's level eight. So let's pop, pump some more repair again. Actually, let's leave three of these. We can start unlocking hard terminals. There we go. And what do we want for our level eight perk? Strong back is a strong contender. How do we not have it? We don't have barter of 70 yet. That's interesting. But yeah, strong back seems like a good idea. And you'll be the sheriff, I assume. So, Sheriff Myers. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Well, before I ask you any of these questions, what did you do to get imprisoned? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. And I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Okay. And why... What, what happened to the prison? I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? I suppose. Who's Cook? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. And where is he? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. Okay. So the NCR has been chased out. Why are you still here? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. Well, that's a sensible, if not a very good motive. I mean, I was hoping you'd give me something good, like, well, it's because I respect the rule of law, and I know that I've broken the law, and that therefore I'm saying to pay my time. If, hypothetically, I were to ask you to become the Sheriff of Prim, how would you feel? Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. Will that mean you're taking the law into your own hands? When I need to? Yes. Well, let's say you have a deal for now. Because there's part of me that just likes you. Honestly, I think it's your beard. Your beard is telling me that you're a, that you're a good man. All right then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. Yeah. You do that. Then we'll have to go to the Mojave border. Talk to the NCR there. And either give Myers a pardon, or ask the NCR to take care of Prim. Doesn't really matter either way to me. Either way, Prim gets a law gets a lawman. But for now, we have a correctional facility to clean up, don't we, Eddie? Yes, yes, we do.